Gentlemen, boys, and girls, may I have your attention, please? Because coming to you live from the beautiful on-air media studios in Dallas, Texas, this is Far Out Fiesta, episode 182, All Fake Commercials 2020. I am your host and humble narrator, Richard Houghton. Yay! Please give it up for our amazing cast, Rob Hudspeth. Yay! Juliana Briscoe. Uh -huh. And Kristen Keith. Thank you! Got a quick uh, question for you. Yes. What is the sickest you have ever been? The sickest. Why you, you gotta bring that up, been? Richard? It seems timely. <laughs> sickest. Uh, sickest gosh. you have ever been. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's too soon. Yeah, I mean, it was We're a flu. Quarantined. It was a flu for me. You know, we're wearing white for medical, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're basically like angels we saving are. you. That's true. I don't know. I think there was one time I had the flu and a bladder infection oh. at the same time oh, and a kidney infection. Horrible. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Oh, my. And yeah. there was also another time when I had the flu. My mom and I had the flu, and we literally had to crawl. We couldn't even stand up. We had to crawl to the kitchen to, to make toast. Oh, that's so sad. Put it into the toaster Aww. to eat dry toast. Aww. <laughs> it was so bad. That's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rob? Uh, yeah, I guess a couple of years ago, I, I had the flu, and I had it so bad that I had to eat my arm. Wow. Whoa. I actually oh, ate wow. my arm. I'm so it glad was it so grew bad. back. That is impressive. It grew back. It did. Are you part lizard? Yes. Yeah. Huh, lizard man. But yeah, the flu, man. Knocked not, not, not me on my butt for about five days. Thank you, Jules. I don't know. Uh, I think the worst that okay, it wasn't sick, but like I once had like a tooth infection. I don't know if that's yeah, sick or not. Sure. Oh, but like yeah, yeah. It's the worst freaking pain you'll ever have. It's like fire on your jaw and you can't sleep, you can't do nothing. You constantly have to put ice on that bitch. I've heard an abscess just, tooth hurts mm. worse yeah. than like childbirth. It's like I've had kidney wow. stones. I've had a lot oh, of shit happen. I had abs but abscess but damn, tooth that's and some gave pain. birth. Oh, wow. it, it was yeah. pretty damn bad. Did. <laughs> pretty damn My what granddad, about you, oh, yeah. Jason. Um, kidney stone. Oh. Or um, oh, when right after I graduated high school, I had mono for like three weeks or, or something. Oh. Like that. When I was in college too, come to think of it. All right. Now that we've brought the room down, let's uh, yeah, let's that was up. fun. We're relatable now. <laughs> Crow, Crow Magnum, Magnum Tea, tea Party. party. We've invited a focus group to share their thoughts about the news entry to America's fastest growing adult caveman based scenario doll collection, Crow Magnon Tea Party. Lana, what do you think? I'm a huge fan of the Tea Party themed adult caveman based scenario dolls in general. Excellent. Lana, who isn't? Go on. Well, I thought that there was no way to top Neanderthal Tea Party. Mm, go on. Yeah, and I, st I still think that. Mm. Here's something I'd like to share with you. Uh, are you choking me to death? Yes. <laughs> what about you, Colt? Oh, well, you know, I have to say that I love the detail of the extended pinky on the Cro-Magnon Lady. Oh, very good. But the fact that the Cro-Magnon man is wearing a tube top completely takes me out of the Pleistocene era. Does it? Perhaps a wolf on your face will change your mind. <laughs> it hurts, but it didn't change my mind. Lexington? Yes? What are you doing? Uh, blowing fast-acting poison in your face. Well, I what? Uh... I absolutely, I absolutely <laughs> love Cro-Magnon Tea Party and think you should purchase it online immediately. Wouldn't want you and your family to be killed by me blowing fast-acting poison in your faces. Cro-Magnon Cro Tea, God, Cro-Magnon Tea Party. Everyone's live, everyone living's favorite adult caveman-based doll collection. Wonderwire! Unlimited, Unlimited, Unlimited data! data. Um, I'm the announcer in this part, but I'm also a character in this. Now I'm the announcer part. Um, overage charges got you bummed. Buzz and Valerie are riffing with everyone's favorite quirky wireless lady to see what she can do about getting them on a great plan with no data limits, great service, 
and a most reliable network. You two look like you're unhappy about your data plan. Either that or you got a case of the mopies. Lady, that barely scratches the surface of what I am unhappy about. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm playing the buzz part now. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> but we would like to see if you can offer us with any time unlimited data. So you want data in the AM? AM is part of any time. You see why I hate his guts. Quirky store phone lady person. Play nice. This is a commercial. <laughs> so you want data in the AM? We do. We okay. do. And we do. <laughs> yes, and you, and you want data in the early PM? Anytime. And you want minutes at PM? We do. Hold on. Um, who is that? <laughs> oh, it's Leon the Limiter. And I'm here to limit your data. I'll limit your data to the left arm in. I'll limit your data to the right arm in. Oh. Out. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, this is still me playing buzz. I'll <laughs> limit your data in the left arm in and you shake it all about. Okay, that is it. Well. Where, where are you taking me? Uh, wh wh what are you doing? <laughs> so, uh, where, wh where am I and wh why am I tied to this chair? Uh, do you have any allergies to latex or surgical tubing, uh, Leonard? Uh, I, I don't think so. How would you react to punctures? What? Ow! <laughs> Pretty good. Did, did you nail my feet to the floor? Why is there, why is there a tarp under me? How sensitive are your nipples to jumper cables? Carl. 9.4. Oh. Carl, what are they doing to you? You don't want none of this, Valerie. <laughs> Wind wire. We're nuts of a great wireless value. My nipples are the perfect level of sensitive to jumper cables. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Virtual toothpaste. Please give me a kiss, honey. You got it. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Mm, what's the matter? You got to do something about that breath first. You should be willing to kiss me with a decomposing rat in my mouth. Remember, it was in our vows. Um, we're actors. This is a podcast commercial. You, well, I'm bipolar, you <laughs> bastard. And by the way, I was already a little freaked out about kissing a stranger before your character started dissing mine. Okay, fight through it, Colt. Have you ever heard of virtual toothpaste, Lana? Uh, have you ever heard of a sexless marriage that leads to our divorce and or your murder? <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind going back to the script? Okay, cue me again. Have you ever heard of virtual toothpaste? No, Colt. I've never heard of virtual toothpaste. Can you tell me about it? The virtual toothpaste scientists came up with a way of tracking your breath freshness and administering a virtual signal that applies toothpaste to your teeth and brushes them. That seems like a waste of brain power and technology. Virtual toothpaste. Please try it. Please squirt it directly from the tube into my mouth. Do you feel it? Once you get past the mini tongue shocks, it's actually pleasant. And it's preventing cavities. Great. I like to sleep with toaster strudel frosting on my teeth. Uh, stay on the script, please. That was my real line. And it whitens teeth, too. <laughs> That's remarkable. I'd pay a huge amount of money for that. Good. It's very expensive. Now, about that kiss. I uh, Hold on. I still have some ground rules. Slightly open your mouth, but no serious tongue. Okay, okay fine. A little tongue, but no other touching. All right. Okay, fine. I just text you where you can touch me during the kiss. Virtual toothpaste. And I need to let you know that I have a tendency to fall madly in love with anyone I kiss. 
even the peck on the cheek. So you're going to need to figure out how many kids we should have. Mm -hmm. Hey, come back. I mean, what about our kiss? <coughs> Secret, Secret winning, winning letter, letter problems. problems. I can't thank you enough for appearing on my little info, infomercial <laughs> attainment. Happy to be here with your, happy to be here on your little info commercial attainment. <laughs> that means podcast commercial. <laughs> Yuppers. And which women bladder problems are we here to discuss today? Men, for your own safety, you're going to, you're going to want to leave the room. <laughs> I will start showing pictures related to women bladder problems in five seconds. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, and one. Surely they are gone now. Our app is part of a revolutionary podcast offer, only available today. Our service has no name to keep it exclusive, <laughs> but it allows you to use a quiet place nearby where you can just completely disconnect. Where am I? No, no <laughs> nobody can reach you. <laughs> nobody can reach you. People who try get messages that make it look like they're having a problem on their end. Mm. You, you simply let the app know where you are by turning it on. Then you can enter the criteria you want for your private space. You can decide whether it's <laughs> indoor or outdoor. If it needs a clean place to take a quick power nap. All spaces are guaranteed to be away from any cameras or tracking. But they are for one person only. If you try to include another person, male or female, if, if you, yes, Lana, if you try to include another person, not only does my second cousin Everett with the neck beard move into your bed and move into your bedroom. But 71 pictures of you and that person are automatically published to everyone who tried to reach you during your visit. It's hard to ignore 71 pictures. Download this new app as soon as this podcast ends. Do not let it fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> It's smart enough to ruin your family and everything you have worked for if you don't download it. I, I bet you wish you'd been watching something else. Secret Women Bladder Problems. Everything, everything sucks! sucks. <clears throat> Without you even realizing it, this podcast commercial is the single most important moment of your life. You know what I need? What? I need a regenerative PBJ. Like... A PB&J that immediately came back after you ate it? <laughs> what can make that happen? Everything sucks! I need a schnauzer that sings an impeccable baritone. And that also has the range for bass. Everything sucks! I need an extra month to pay my taxes. Because we spend our money on more fun things. Everything sucks! I need a secret apartment where I can bring Lexington's lovers. Everything sucks! What? And either convince them to leave Lexington alone. But I fancy my lovers. Everything sucks! Or I will eliminate them. Like, uh, like kill them? Everything sucks! Are you even hearing what she's saying, announcer? I'm not paid to hear. I'm paid to speak. Everything sucks! If I can't have you, Lexington, nobody can. Well, I mean, I had no idea you felt that way about me. Uh, may I kiss you? I don't like you that way. Everything sucks! I'm afraid of you now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything <laughs> sucks. Let me warn you right now. I piss on restraining orders. Everything sucks. Okay, dude, will you go away if I commit to buying some everything socks? Do you have a pair of blue dress everything socks? No. They only come in brown. Everything sucks! <laughs> Everything you need in a sock and more. Parks Mall of the Great Southwest. Southwest. 
Perks Mall of the Great Southwest. Most everything you wanted from a mall in 1979. <laughs> what if I need a store that is totally devoted to recalled makeup? We got you covered. <laughs> Park Small of the Great Southwest assumes zero responsibility when your face gets infected and falls off, and you have to keep it in a jar until the technology exists to put it back on. Dude, you're not helping. I like to support llama-owned businesses. One of our stores is staffed entirely by llamas. Bitch, you made my day. Park Small <laughs> does not guarantee that all of our llama employees are plague-free. Dude, will you kick your ass? I will kick your ass if you don't shut your damn mouth. I want corny dog options galore. <laughs> My life is that sad. What well, corny dog hut has over one kind of corny dog <laughs> and two drink options. Park Small assumes a what are you doing with that syringe? I'm jamming it into your neck. It's poison, I warned you. I want quick access to guns for when I get pissed off. We got you covered. I want an antidote. And now I'm smothering you by covering your nose and mouth with my hand. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you what I want from a mall without you killing me? <laughs> no, no guarantees. <laughs> uh, 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 I want a mall announcer from a commercial that won't murder me. <laughs> well, we don't got you covered. <laughs> Come, come back here. Dude, did you did you get that gun yet? Way ahead of you. Bullets or trank darts? Perk Small of the Great Southwest. Bullets. She's hiding behind the kids' cockfighting arena. <laughs> no! Bullet darts! Bitch, all, all we have, have is bourbon chicken. chicken. And three. Two. Good, whatever time of day or night it is for you, uh, we're coming to you live from the Park Small of the Southwest's newest restaurant, Bitch, All We Have is Bourbon Chicken. That's right, we're back with another fucking restaurant! What? We're on? <laughs> they, they, they can edit that part out. People are seeing us now on the air. <laughs> That's what live means? <laughs> Come on down to the food court, then turn left, then come on down to the bitch. All we have is bourbon chicken. Once again, we did no research before we made this decision. None. Not one second. Uh, what, what kind of food do you have? May I? Be my guest. Bitch, <laughs> all we have is bourbon chicken. Because aging chicken doesn't cost much, and bourbon masks the flavor of rancid chicken. <laughs> you should probably steer clear of the word rancid in your live, uh, rancid in your live spots. You see that cult? You get what you pay for when you hire pros. Oh God, he wanted to use his brother. <laughs> uh, oh, I only as a buffer between you and your whiny ass. Uh, um. Can I get fries with that? Bitch, all we have is bourbon chicken. Drinks? Um, here's the thing. <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> all we have is bourbon chicken. So could I just get a bourbon? We need our bourbon. The next step for us is witness protection. Bitch, all we drink is bourbon? For a while there, we had more bourbon than chicken. We owe so much money. <laughs> Time's almost up. Say the name of your rest. Deco fish. Deco fish. Deco fish. The twins are bored. We, we sure, sure are. are common, common law, law dad. 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 Yeah, it's just dad. <laughs> Man, I sure do wish a home invader would try to sell us something. I said, I sure do wish Wait, a home Sorry. Uh, sorry. Doing your wife so perfectly. Uh, she now loves me more than you. What? <clears throat> Sell us something. something. Sell us something. Sell us something. You, you have to stop that noise. <laughs> Dad, you, you let them do that? Uh, hey, twins, your goldfish are ugly. They are. They've been depressed. And Goldie's put on a little weight. 
The Botox isn't working for Goldie, Erica. Uh, what do you suggest? So, wait, what, what did you say about my wife? Honey, are you smoking a cigarette? I'll be right back. Goldfish can be even prettier with a little help from Decofish. Decofish. Yes. D deco fish. <laughs> uh, it could save time if they always talked in unison. <laughs> the science of mostly waterproof hot glue has made it more possible than ever to adorn your fish. With rhinestones? Yes. And stickers? Why not? And the plans we've been making to kill our <laughs> parentals to, to make it look like the crew of some bullshit podcast commercial did it. <laughs> Even the voice talent? And, and make it look like the talent did it. Can I at least finish the commercial? Did you say your product uses hot glue to decorate fish? <laughs> the science of hot glue. Doesn't that hurt the fish? Of course it does. Pain is the price of beauty. The fish probably don't see it that way. Deco fish. Slippery, Slippery body, body wash. wash. Slippery body wash. Hello, ladies. Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, ladies. <laughs> hello. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Rooster. What? I thought your question was going to be, uh, what does your mother's favorite hot pad have on it? Why would that be my question? Guys always ask me that. Are you asking me to have dinner with you at your mother's house? Fuck no! Oh. Question me, announcer man. Well, I mean, my questions will all be about Colt here. <laughs> Greetings! Does he have an extra bad personality? <laughs> Did he mean to have that hairstyle and or... Wear those clothes. Uh, hey, who's asking the questions around here? I'm announcing the questions around here. I love an assertive n announcer. Really? Flucking with you, man. Women always are. Ask your damn questions. Question ans ask your man. What could Colt do to make you engage in no questions asked boning with him? Can my answer be alcohol and cocaine? If he's willing to have telescoping poles inserted into his femurs to give him an adjustable height I might just be into. Oh, it's so sexy. I'll do it. Hold on. This isn't a commercial for telescoping femurs. Maybe someday you'll be good enough a good enough announcer to land that gig. So what else could make Colt sexier? Well, I hope it's not growing human man looking facial hair. I look like a burn victim chimp. When I try to grow it, my, my beard makes me look like a who. I think what could be really be so, so sexy is if a man, i.e. Colt, would drive his big nails into the cement with his tongue. I'll do it. Hold on. Uh, what if he was using slippery all day long body wash? Wouldn't we, like, shoot off the bed when we're doing it? <laughs> it would be like boning a marlin. Slippery body wash. A company run by eels. Furniture and again. Um, here's a problem everyone can relate to. Do you suck at blowing dudes, too? <laughs> God, he's not good at anything. Uh, Claire! What? Claire, I'm at work! And I live in a piece of crap apartment with a podcast commercial announcer. We all have our problems. Okay, shopping for furniture is everyone's worst nightmare. My worst nightmare started when I said, I do. Claire! Uh, let's ask this couple about their most recent furniture shopping experience. Why would they talk to you? Hello, folks! <laughs> Hello, um, where am I? Ah, hello folks, tell me, tell me about your most recent furniture shopping experience. It wasn't that 
bad act, really. <laughs> That's right. High pressure commission furniture salespeople are the worst. Well, I mean, Bin Laden was pretty bad too. And that lady who drove her kids into the lake to kill them. <laughs> Doing great here, honey. He's so bad at everything. <laughs> Not only does the furniture store never have what you want. They had exactly what we wanted. <laughs> then you have to figure out how to get it home. Yeah, they delivered ours. For free. Anything to say that. Tough guy. <laughs> uh, well, well um, what if I told you uh, you could have up to four different kinds of furniture from a can. Leave me alone. You smell like curdled waffle batter. This commercial doesn't seem to be going that well, does it? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Furniture in a can. Just pick up your can of sofa, bring it home, and spray it in your living room. In just two hours, you'll have a sturdy couch. So are you his wife? Sadly, yeah. You must be constantly humiliated by what he does for a living. And it comes with a coffee table, too. Uh, have you ever thought about becoming a sister wife? Like being married to you and him? Ooh, <laughs> turn around, dude. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Work it, baby. Yeah, now you. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Uh, okay. okay. I'm in. FYI, Warren, I'm having our marriage, our marriage annulled. Loser. <laughs> Furniture in a can. <laughs> and speed dial suicide hotline. Hmm. Blocked. Ouch. Waffle Kids! Nanotechnology makes it possible for the good people at BioFood to bring you Waffle Kids! Fantastic! There's nothing our kids like better on a hot summer day in Texas than waffles! <laughs> Um, my kids would like a pool better, but you know we, we can't afford that. Maybe if somebody would step up and ask his boss for a raise. Folks, I'm trying to tell you about Waffle Kids. Failing at trying to tell us about Waffle Kids, jerk. There's no reason to lash out at me just because your husband isn't living up to his potential. To put it mildly. Hey! Hey, how about I let Joey the Waffle Kid explain? <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Joey the Waffle Kid. <laughs> See? Even the Waffle Kid has an impressive title, Lexington. Lay off, man. <laughs> if you look closely, you will see that I'm not a waffle. That's for kids. I'm a kid waffle. Like Kid Rock. Only with waffles. Go wait in the car. <laughs> I'm a living, breathing waffle child. Really? Do you poop? Everybody poops. Waffle kids, savory, living, breathing, waffle-based life forms for weirdos and people who can have kids of their own. Can I still eat waffle kids? Would you eat your own kids? I asked my question first. I am the most delicious waffle you could ever have. That's all I need to know. And they said I was crazy for always carrying my own syrup. Well, I mean, that is a little crazy. <laughs> Ouch. He's delicious. I'm still barely alive. <laughs> if you stop eating me now. Is he dead? I like to think of him as dead delicious. Waffle Kids in your grocer's alternative food life form section. At least finish eating, Colt. F fuck you. I'm full. <laughs> this has been Far Out Fiesta episode 182. All fake commercials 2020. I have been your host and humble narrator. Yeah. Rich Hogan. Yeah. Please give it up for our amazing cast, Christian Keith. Thank yeah. you. Juliana Briscoe. Yeah. Rob Husband. Yeah. And the amazing Jason! Yeah! yeah. He broke the coronavirus. That's right. Yeah. We are not learning to be. That is so right. Has anybody got anything? Well, of course not. There's nothing going <laughs> on. Ever. All right. Yeah, I've been booking like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, we're totally happening these on. days. I cannot stop working. <laughs> so everybody wants so me like So many eight. gigs. <laughs> <laughs> Later. <laughs>